Hello guys, welcome to the first uh, part in the new uh, Unature series, which is runtime coding. Um, this video will cover how to use the get and, and set it layers. Um, so this is one of the methods you have for changing grass on runtime. There's actually a few more methods. Uh, for instance, the one we're doing now is for changing grass. And this is more or less the easiest one, but they're also the slowest one. Um, there's also a more a, a different way, which I will cover in the next tutorial, for changing it directly from the actual uh, maps that Unature creates, which is a lot compli it's, it's a bit more complicated, but also a lot faster for if you have custom usage uh, for your game, uh, which is something that Unity doesn't expose. Uh, next up would be basically the next story after that would pretty much be how to regenerate heights on certain places, uh, how to integrate your shader, your shader, sorry, and a few more. So I got a few more coming. Uh, so this one's gonna be very simple. Let's get to it. So let's create a new script. Let's call it. Um, Nature, let's call it grass runtime uh, detail changes, or I just call it grass runtime. I don't really know. And give it a second to load. Okay, so let's add in here the nature dot core college classes namespace, and let's. Add in here a few things. Let's add go over to the update method, and I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, a certain input. So if you do input get key, uh, key down, I'm gonna do an input check. Sorry, I'm gonna check for f, for instance. I'm going to also gain here a register. So let's do private int. Uh, let's do register right here. I'm gonna do let's do this field. And let's set it as a default value to two. Okay, now um, what you want to do is you want to first of all check if foliage measure exists. So let's do, I'm going to do this as simple as possible. So let's ignore if I, uh, ignore if it takes a bit more time than it should actually be. I'm just going to make sure everyone understands what I'm doing here. So let's just make sure the instance for the foliage core main manager is, doesn't uh, actually exist. So let's do that. Okay, actually, if you want to make it, I guess more nicer if we just do that. So all we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna do this transition kind of. So let's get details using now this will basically get us the details, the density on a certain area. So different from unit unity, on unity you would have to transform your coordinates. So instance if you wanna get X and Z, oops, I'm gonna do in here your position, like it's an interesting position, half by the size of your terrain and times by your resolution. So that's pretty much how you would do it in Unity. By Unature, it's a lot simple, simpler. So you're just gonna add, have in here int, x, int, well, transform the position dot z, and now you're gonna have to put your size, so radius and radius. Now actually, Unature transforms your coordinates for you, so you don't have to do any size or resolution, uh, size or resolution transmission and transition. Sorry, it works automatically. And now this is the prototype index. Now, getting the prototype index is also very easy. We're gonna go over to the Unity, and let's look here. If you click on that graph, you're gonna see in here a number. That's your prototype index. So let's use that right here. And now what you wanna do is you wanna is you want to Sorry, let's for this for this example, let's get in here new density. Let's put this for now zero. And it's gonna be changed into byte, but I'm gonna use it in here. I don't think Unity, Unity sorry can serialize or not serialize but show bytes on the inspector, so I'm going to use the int an int for now. I haven't actually tested that. So let's go over and look for each one of the coordinates. So let's use oops, let's use in here X. Oh. Okay, x and then radius right here and then oops and then put the z in here as well now one thing that unit unity has is when you try to access a detail you can't just do that you have to actually do the inverted way which is the opposite unity in unity sorry in unity you can just do that and it works so let's change that to the new density and then just assign it back which is also very very easy let's change it back to byte um, if you want to make this, like, make sure it doesn't comes out wrong, just clamp it between 255, which is the bad max value. Doesn't really matter, to be honest. Uh, you probably aren't going to use something higher than 255 or lower than zero anyways. 
Um, okay, so after we've got we've changed the details or the density to the one we want, we're going to assign it back, which is also the same thing, uh, same process. So instead of get the layer, we're going to do set data layer, and it's going to be again just that your position, your radius. And the prototype index again. Actually, for some reason, I haven't removed the size in here. They shouldn't. You shouldn't be really put. Have to put your sign. I'm sorry. Your your address should only put your details. So that's gonna be fixed. That's going to be fixed probably on your asset store version. Let me just fix this now. Actually, it's gonna be in the asset store version anyways. Okay, I'm back. So let's just do it again after I changed it to the way that it should actually be. So let's do save the layer again. Copy the position the densities which is basically the details and the product index which is the same one and that's it now if everything works well it should just work uh, actually wait I'm an idiot I don't want to change it I can change it on my position or we can do uh, a raycast because, uh, let's let's check this one out first and then we can actually get it more complicated with the raycast okay so if I click F oops I didn't sign the script sorry Okay, so let's check this out. As you can see, if I click F now, that's cleared, but in a very, very small range. So let's increase that to five. Oh, this works all better. You can see it's not really a radius, right? If I go here, it changes it only directly, only di uh, directly in front of me. So let's change that. And that's very easy. So in order to use an actual radius, let's change that to size. But to actually create a radius, what, should, what we should do is we're going to do here radius equals to size f by to f to int. So what that's going to give us is basically a radius. Now in order for this, for this to work, we need to remove the radius from here. And use the size over here. There you go. Oops. And now this should hopefully work. As you can see, it removes all around us. As you can see, I just move around. Lift trails around me, and it's very, very fast. You can see there's actually no impact on performance whatsoever. It is very, very fast. I can spam it. There's almost no impact on performance. See, it's going very, very fast. So now let's do something different. Let's do in here a raycast hit. So that's very simple. Let's just do a simple uh, raycast check right here. Oops. Let's get again the camera. And then which we are going to do this actually. And now we're going to get half of the screen, not to get a raycast from our screen coordinates. Oops, actually wait. And then use that over the raycast. Now just do hit dot point and that is it. Let's change it. And let's see how this works. And uh, oops, we get no reference over here some reason. Oh, of course I didn't send the camera. Um, just put it over here. Let's see how this works out. See, it works pretty well. Works very, very well. And there you go. So let's use a different density. Let's use 5 for instance. And it assigns the density. Let's use 1 
get lower density. So that's very very cool, and you can assign, you can change that as you like. See, reduce the density. And again, there's no lags. Actually, what I can do here to show you that is I can use, I can make it hold. I can make it so you can hold the F button. Show that it's actually not that slow, and it's pretty fast. So if, even if I hold the F button, see it's it's very very fast. You know, it happens every frame. And it still doesn't affect performance that much. You can do it literally as much as you want. So that's very, very fast. And actually, you can use as much as registers as you want, and it's going to be the same performance. So if I use in here, uh, let's use in here like 50, um, let's go a bit farther so it doesn't generate new manager instances. Let's do here. I see it's, it's still very, very fast. There's literally no issues with it whatsoever. It's very, very fast, no performance impact. And it is very very nice. See, I need to be on the ground, sorry, and there you go. Very very easy. Okay. So that's pretty much it for this part. Um, next part will be a bit more interesting. It's going to cover how to change map the, the actual map directly, and it's going to be more a bit more complicated. Um, it's not going to be as easy as doing get and set it layers, but it's also going to allow you to do to use. Uh, to maybe do different kind of shapes with the grass or really change it to something you can't without it. Um, but overall, if you can use the get and set it less, you might as well want to do it. But the, set, the map pixels are more used for threading or something like that. So uh, at the end of the day, both of them are very useful, but I would go for get, get and set it less when possible. And yeah, that's pretty much it.